In this episode, we will see how a geocell is manufactured. The ground that is unstable, collapsing, or exposed to destructive weather conditions is a nightmare for all builders. So how can you reinforce the substrate in a simple and easy way? The best option is to use the geocell, i.e. a polymer structure with stretchable meshes that can be buried in the soil. And what about its intended use? It is practically unlimited. Geocells are used, for example, during construction of roads, pavements, and car parks, in the railway sector or during construction of reservoirs and flood banks, to secure slopes and embankments against erosion, as well as in retained structures. It helps to reduce investment costs, as with any aggregate can be used as backfilling material, while the substructure thickness can be reduced even by about 50%. Furthermore, everybody can use a geocell around their house. For example, to construct an access road or parking spaces, stabilize a slope, or build a simple retained structure. So how is a cellular geogrid manufactured? To learn this, we go to the GeoGlobe Polska production plant in Mikołów, a company that also specializes in production of equipment for environmental protection, used to protect amphibia, reptiles, and small mammals, as well as to prevent excessive development of root systems. Firstly, we need to prepare the material. We use polyethylene, i.e., a material free of a negative environmental impact, which can be used even in areas protected as part of the Natura 2000 network. It is supplied as a granulate which needs to be initially dried at 70 degrees Celsius. At least 500 kilograms of polyethylene is processed this way in just one hour. The process begins in the extruder's hopper, on a line that has one of the highest capacities and is one of the most modern in Poland. The material is plastified in the extruder's cylinder and then fed through a wide slot nozzle between three rollers of the calendar that resembles a huge mangle. This way, a two-meter wide web of required thickness and texture is produced. Now the web needs to be adapted to hydrological conditions of the soil. For this purpose, it is perforated on a press working with a force of 250 tons. Dyes cut out drainage openings according to the specification of a given product. Circles of material that fall out from the web during its perforation are recovered and reused in the same production cycle. Thus, in this case, we can talk about the zero-waste production. Here we can see the web being sliced into belts of required dimensions and then welded together to form finished sections of the geocell. Using an ultrasonic welding machine, this way, flexible honeycomb structures are produced consisting of 40 or 60 belts sealed together. They are then thoroughly tested in the laboratory. One of those tests verifies the strength of ultrasonic welded joints using a special machine. In the case of the GeoCell, the minimum tensile strength of a 100 millimeter section of the perforated web is 1,260 newtons. The finished geocell sections are transferred to the saw station, where they are cut to one of eight heights manufactured at this plant. Then the product is reeled and stretch wrapped. Each pallet is marked with an identification label. Time to go. The product is transported on stacked pallets to optimize goods delivery. Geocells are delivered to customers in 12 different sizes and in four colors, green, beige, brown, and black. 
All this to ensure that the product fits into the landscape design at a site of its installation. Geocells of high-density polyethylene are an environmentally friendly product that is almost completely neutral to the environment in which it is used, and which can be recycled. It holds necessary certificates, so it can be used in the European Union in areas subject to environmental protection. Because the geocell means a truly stable ground for construction activities conducted with care for resources.